Hi everyone, I am Katie the Crafty Blog Stalker and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to create custom return address labels in Cricut Design Space. These are print then cut and they are super simple to make for any occasion. So the first thing that we're going to do is add a shape and we want to add a square. This is going to be the base of our label. And we want to size this to the standard address label size. But first we need to come up here and unclick that lock and that will let us give this rectangle or square our custom dimensions. So we want the size to be 2.625 by one inch. That is the standard size and we're going to change that color to white, that background color to white. Now we want to add our address and our picture. So we're gonna come over here to images. Now, like I said, you can do this for any occasion, birthday, wedding, or Christmas. I'm gonna be making some Christmas return address labels to put with my Christmas cards. So I'm gonna come over here to the images. I typed in wreath and I really like this wreath right here. So that's the one that I'm going to use. Of course, you can use any one that you want. And I am going to size that to fit inside of our rectangle there. And that looks like that fits pretty well. And now we want to add our text. So I'm gonna open up a text box and I'm gonna type the Adams because that is my last name. And then we're just going to use this address, 555 East 5th. Street, and we live in any town, USA, and a zip code. That will work. Okay, now let's change the font. Let's do something cute with it. So I'm going to make sure there's a box around it, and I'm going to come up here and change the font. And there is a Cricut font that's called Felix that I love. It's super cute, so we're just going to change it to that. Okay, now we're gonna size this down just by dragging on that little arrow there in the corner. And then we're going to put inside our box. Then we're also going to need, let's do a monogram inside of our wreath. So we're gonna add one more text box. We're just gonna do an A. It Since Felix was the last font we just used, that is going to be the font that comes up and I'm okay with that. So we're gonna bring that over here. Now that we've got all of our pieces, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit better here what we're working with. Okay, so let's start with our wreath and our monogram first. Okay, those look good. I'm actually going to move the rectangle out of the way for now and I'm going to drag a square around the wreath and around our monogram. And I want to center those. So I'm gonna drag a square over them. You can see over here in our layers panel that our text A and our wreath are selected and we are going to center align them like that. Now that they're together, we don't want them to move so we're gonna type group. And then that way we can just move this around without um, having to highlight both before we move them around. And then with our font, you know, I am going to, I'm gonna change this just a little bit. So I'm gonna double click on it. And I am going to put the 555 below, the zip code below, like that. And then if we wanted to, we could even center a line Ooh, I like how that looks. So let's go ahead and keep that center aligned. And then we are going to highlight our address and we're gonna bring it over here next to our monogram wreath and we are gonna center these. So we're gonna drag a square again over the two of those and we will align. We want to center align and now we're gonna group those together. So then again, we can just grab these and they will move together. Okay, now let's put our, oops, 
our design over the top of our square and it's just a smidgen big. So we're just going to decrease the size of this just a little bit just by dragging. And then we want this to be centered inside of our address label. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click and drag over both, come up here to align and center align. Okay, now this is our address label, but we want to make this a print then cut. So what we need to do is flatten. Over here in the bottom right hand corner, we are going to flatten and this makes this entire design a print then cut. And you can see that over here in the layers panel. So now we're ready to make it. And here is our map preview. Now, of course, it's only showing one but I'm going to be doing lots of Christmas cards, so I want to do more than one, and I know that 16 labels will fit on one eight by 10 sticker sheet. So I changed my number of copies to 16 and clicked apply, and then this is also how my, my labels are going to print out. You'll see this black box around them, and that is the registration box. That is so when we send the file to our Cricut, it will find this box and it will know exactly where to cut our labels. So now we're gonna click on continue, and I'm going to send it to the printer and click on print. Now that my address labels have printed, I get to select the material in which I'm going to cut. On my Cricut Explore Air 2, I have the dial set to custom. So I'm gonna click on sticker and select clear printable sticker paper since that is what I am using. And then I am ready to load and to cut my return address labels. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials. And of course, you can always find me at my home base, thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks everybody. Bye and happy crafting.